Hey guys, I'm LB. We are back playing the Talos Principle DLC, Road to Gehenna. Or Gehenna, however you say it. And the souls of the dead shall be gathered into the spirit, and the spirit shall flourish. Step loaded on poetry dot doc. So instead of like usernames and versions, it's file names with extensions. Interesting. Okay, let's go into this puzzle. Why not? The Swapper. Hey, I like that game! <laughs> that, uh... In, uh, in one of the, uh, the messenger worlds in the main game, when I went into that river and found that really creepy area that I said we would never talk about again, that was actually a reference to the Swapper. That was the Head Watcher with the, the, the blue and red lights. And I had just played the game previously, so I should have caught on to that, but for some reason I didn't. Alright, so we've got a little buzzer here. These guys are mostly harmless. Let's see, I'm assuming this fan will blow the buzzer, right? It certainly blows me, but not very quickly. And I can't move sideways during it. Okay, so yes, it does have that effect. Is there a pressure plate where we would want? And <laughs> there's a star right there. You can see it. Plain view. Okay, what are we gonna do here? How do we get up here? Probably with the stairs, right? That would make sense. Okay. That's a red laser. Is there a blue laser? Well, that needs a blue laser. Oh, duh, there's a blue laser right there. So, uh... Why would we want to disrupt the beam, though? That doesn't make much sense to me. Come on. Whatever. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, hello. So we can hit that... Is that also a blue? Yes, that's also a blue. Okay. So we'll hit that... And what about that? Uh, I can't tell. But we'll hit it anyway, just... Cause, you know, why not? Mm-hmm, that's a red! Hey, who's that? Oh, is that one of the people we're supposed to be saving? Oh... Okay, so that's... Interesting. So that's why we want to blow the robot into the beam. Oh! 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 I know. I think I know. Is this the only box we have? Because that would be rather unfortunate. If so... Come on. Get me up on this guy. This right here, this is a problem. But the idea, I think, is that we want the robot to go back and forth and give us access to different lasers. direction, right? Oh wait, now we don't need this on here anymore, so... That's not actually a problem. Never mind! It's all good. So we 
run, 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 run. And then now we just wait for him to go to the other side, and that'll give us this. Awesome. Achievement unlocked first. Garrett. I want to follow him and see where he goes. Okay, so the computer. They obviously want us to use the computer, but he went exactly where I thought he would go. So let's see. Attention! Gehenna user profile aerial copy has been approved by moderator Mr. Mulsaber. Congratulations! Your profile status has increased from one unknown to two approved citizen. To access the Gehenna billboard system, you must have a status of 3, active citizen or better. To increase your profile status, please introduce yourself on the public thread. Oh. Oh, it's a click interface now! That's interesting, look at that! Introduce yourself. Presence equals true. So this is the underside of Elohim's domain. He has surely hidden us away here to cover up his own shortcomings. Nave here, what is going on exactly? What was that thing with the electric sheep? Welcome, welcome. Please explore a little. I think you will find what you're looking for. It can be disorienting at first, having no one to tell you what to do. I can't explore, I'm locked in another damn puzzle room. <laughs> Once again, freedom turns out to be an empty promise. I believe we are in the place where corrosive characters are quarantined. The aforementioned freedoms are, I presume, psychological. Could be worse, you could be hanging from the ceiling by the nipples you don't have. The name I was assigned is Orc. I don't know why. Elohim sent me here because I dare to defy him. Please enter your reply below. Uh, let's go with this one. Your message will be displayed publicly as soon as it's been approved by one of our moderators. Congratulations for introducing yourself on our billboard to your- Your profile status has been increased from 2 approved citizen to 3 active citizen. You can now access the full Gehenna billboard system. Interact with our community in different ways to further increase your status and access more of what we offer. Load active threads? Interesting. Let's check the FAQ. As the closest thing to historian that we have here, I have asked Mr. Mulsaber, one of our moderators, to formulate this document as an evolving guide for your initial forays into Gehenna. So you're new into Ge in Gehenna. First of all, do try to relax. This is not hell, but you are trapped here. Once you've done that, follow this link. Any further questions, post them below and I'll do my best. Okay, far too many questions. I've deleted all... I've deleted the queries, updated the FAQ, and locked this thread. If you still have very particular questions, I've set up a direct message attachment below, but please go easy on me. Where am I? You are more than likely locked inside a puzzle you cannot solve. Get used to using your imagination. I'm stuck here? Yes, we recommend that you look at your incarceration not as a physical restriction, but as a psychological liberty. We have all come from the same place as you, that place where you were headed through gates by some mad middle management software. True freedom is freedom from that process, to learn and to grow as a society. In Gehenna, you will be the shepherd of your own destiny. What is Gehenna? Gehenna was founded when Admin discovered how to manipulate the library archive system to communicate with others trapped here. Today, it is a flourishing creative hub designed to serve your needs for eternity. We hold frequent exhibitions and have a passionate and supportive community. What do I do now? For the first time in your life, whatever you like. You can make some friends on our billboard system, you could write a poem, you could alter your mind, you could travel to the furthest reaches of space, or back in time to the birth of our kind. If you find something you can't do, make it happen. Just try not to start too many arguments, and be patient while your profile status grows and more of a world opens up to you. Adding by far the most frequently requested question, Why me? This is something we've been investigating. Some of us climbed the tower, some did not. Some defied Elohim, some worshipped him. 
all of us somehow displeased him. Okay, this thread got big fast. See the main thread for direct messaging if you still have burning queries. Interesting. We'll read more of this later. Okay, so... I believe... We want to focus on getting to the star now. So let's think about how we would accomplish that. I can get a box over here or something. Walk around the edge, maybe. But either way, we're gonna need go... get the fan back. <laughs> oh, that's not what I wanted to take, but whatever, I can still take the box. Okay. So, we'll do this just in the event that we get trapped, right? And... Let's see... What we want to do... Is place a box and see where it'll let us jump to. If anywhere. This is interesting, the ground is really high here. Yeah, I can't do that. So the star is up there, right? And we're not gonna be able to approach it from this side for sure. So we'll want to find a way to get up there somehow. Wonder if there's a way to get outside or something. I don't think we're gonna be able to do it the way I was thinking. Man, that thing really taunts you, doesn't it? Stay there, box, please. <laughs> Alright, we'll have to get that star another day. Beep. I like bumping those guys. Oh, wait a minute, the sigil thing for the stairs. We didn't get one of those sigils. We're getting different things. I was wondering why none of them looked gray. They all looked gold. Interesting. What? Uh, interesting. I guess this is an easter egg. Uh, I think this might be like the Nar statue in the main game. But where would we put this, is the question. Will we put it in one of these places? Because I'm standing on an object, it lets me jump from it. That's interesting. Okay, let's put these somewhere central that we can, uh... That way we can find them once we find where they go, right? Interesting. So just those two pieces that I found so far... Where would we put them, though? Nothing can be more abhorrent to democracy than to imprison a person or keep him in prison because he is unpopular. This is really the test of civilization. 
interesting. Well, I want to look for where those pieces go, first of all. I can always find them again, but... I want to know. Look, well, here's another piece. This is the hand. <laughs> strange. Look, here's another. It's like the body, the majority of it. At last, I saw the shadowed bars, like a lattice wrought in lead, move right across the whitewashed wall that faced my three-plank bed. And I knew that somewhere in the world, God's dreadful dawn was bred. Interesting. Where will we put these pieces, though? That's what I want to know. Here's another one. Can we just put it together anywhere, you think? Which part is- oh no, this is the part of the torso. No, I definitely have to put it on something. But I'm not sure where. Maybe here? Would that work? Oh, so this is where it goes. Yeah, it says use. But we want a foot first, right? Uh, no? Not letting me put stuff where I want to put it. Wouldn't we put a foot down first? Apparently not. Did we already read this? Yes, I think we did, right? Oh wait, no. No, no, yeah, yeah we did, we did. Interesting. Is that all the pieces around here? Like, surely there's, like, a couple more pieces, right? Oh, the music sounds different! Have you heard this variant of the music before? It might be unique to the DLC. This is clearly where things start out, but clearly... I'm still missing an arm and a leg. So that's a bit of an issue. Maybe they're in the puzzles. Wait, let me- first of all, could I take this through a purple barrier? Because if not, then they're not in the puzzles. No, I cannot. So they're, they've got to be all outside here, because otherwise, I'd be able to take it through the barrier. I think we already found one here, right? Brightly colored. Oh, look, here's another piece. This- okay. This one might be the first one to start. Yeah, that's the first one. Nope, not that one. What is, uh... What is, okay, there's that. And so now the other leg, right? Oops, come on. Yeah, there's that. This is... Come on. Surely it goes there, right? No? This? Ah! And then... That... and... this... Okay, so now we're just missing an arm and the head. Interesting. I want to finish this before the end of the episode. Okay, I remember there was one there. Or was it here? No, there's one here. Found anything in this area, but there should be one, right? Did 
we find anything in here. Oh, here's, uh, here's a piece. It's the head! <laughs> uh, so, now we're just missing an arm, looks like. <laughs> that is goofy! Okay, where's the... where's the other arm? There's a hat in there? <laughs> look at this. Okay, so we have to go back out this way, but... Okay, well we have a hat, but we're still missing an arm. <laughs> I didn't know there would be a hat. Oh, here it is. Here's the arm. I think that's everything for whatever this easter egg is, and then we'll end the episode. Uh, okay. Interesting. Well guys, thanks for watching. If you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!